most accurate local forecast starts now with meteorologist Addis Euclo. So Addis, the Harrisburg St. Patrick's Day Parade was yeah. today, and it was a great time for that too because you never know what you're going to get in March. And it was pretty yeah. mild and it wasn't windy or anything. And not bad, not bad. I mean, upper 40s is where most of us made it. We'll take it for this time of the year. Tomorrow is going to be a different story. It's going to feel a little bit more like the middle of winter tomorrow. But the good news for those of you that don't like spring is it's not going to last. So let's show you the live view outside. Hey, we're ending the day with some sunshine. It is really nice, by the way, to be showing you the daytime still here after 6 o'clock as the sun now sits after 7 p.m. So we've got some sunshine over all of our bigger cities, Harrisburg, Lancaster, Lebanon, New York, all looking good. Now we are going to see an increase in some clouds here over the next few hours as this front sweeps through. But what it brings with it is going to be minimal when it comes to any flurries or showers. Temperatures are in the upper 40s right now for most of us, at least uh, in our bigger cities, 48 for York and Lancaster, 47 in Harrisburg. But we are cooling down into the low 40s north and west. And notice State College already down to 36. So these temperatures are going to come down in a hurry here later. You can see most of us are dry right now, but we're starting to see a few radar returns up closer to Lewistown and in Mifflin County. So we do have some rather hefty snow showers out closer to Altoona, north and west of State College. But no Notice once you get east of there, it's already transitioning over to mix or maybe just some late sprinkles. So we'll allow for a passing flurry or snow shower tonight as those temperatures drop, but it's not going to be inf impactful for us at all. You can see the front from yesterday now offshore. Here's that secondary front that's going to pass over the next few hours. And then behind that temperatures are going to drop in a hurry. So by tomorrow morning, we're in the 20s and look at this pressure gradient or pressure difference over the Great Lakes. That's that stronger wind that's heading our way too. So you can see winds. 10 to 30 miles per hour over the Great Lakes and these stronger winds are heading in our direction. So it's not just the cold for tomorrow morning, but that wind is certainly going to add to that chill and actually wind chills are going to be down into the teens. I'll show you that here in a second. So here's eight o'clock. You can see a few more clouds, maybe a passing flurry or snow shower or sprinkle in spots. That would be about it. Overnight will clear out at least partially and then temperatures drop into the 20s tomorrow morning. It will be windy overnight with some gusts upwards of about 30 miles per hour and that wind will stick with us throughout the day tomorrow. Tomorrow afternoon, mainly earlier in the day. It is possible again we see a passing flurry. Otherwise, the story is going to be the temperature. We're only going to bounce back into the upper 30s in most spots. So tomorrow morning, you're certainly going to need to bundle up. Temperatures in the 20s, but wind chills down into the low to mid teens. And then most of the day tomorrow, wind chills are going to be in the 20s, but those winds should start to die down late and that will close the gap between the temperature and the wind chill. And you know, if I kind of just cover tomorrow, look at the rest of that 70. Not too shabby, right? 52 back for Monday as we usher in spring, 60 on Tuesday. Yes, there is going to be some off and on rain as we head toward the middle and end of the week, but that is a very spring-like 70 forecast once we head past tomorrow. Lots to enjoy. Jared, over to you.